Richard Harvey Kane was a half Cherokee, half African American who was born on April 12, 1825 in Virginia. He was born free and later moved with his parents to Ohio in 1831. In 1848, Cain grew frustrated with the Methodist segregated practices in Missouri. After being assigned there four years earlier, he transferred to the African Methodist Episcopal Church, also known as the AME Church. In 1861, Reverend Cain studied at Wilberforce University in Ohio, and in the same year, he was assigned to serve as pastor at the Bridge Street Church in Brooklyn, New York, where he quickly became involved in politics. In May of 1865, he was transferred to South Carolina as superintendent of the AME missions for the state. In November 1865, that same year, he was elected as an honorary delegate for the Colored People's Convention in Charleston, one of the earliest forums where Blacks in the Carolinas demanded equal civil and political rights. In 1866, he bought the SC Leader newspaper, becoming the presumed first African-American newspaper editor in South Carolina. Afterwards, he changed the name of the newspaper to The Missionary Record. The newspaper covered religion, literature, and politics, and became an important voice for Carolinians. In 1867, he helped to organize the state Republican Party, and he later served as party chairman for Charleston County. Reverend Kane was also known as Daddy Kane because he was a paternal champion of African American civil rights and social advancement. He used considerable oratorical skills, wit, and rich sense of humor while often mocking Southern white representatives who declared African Americans as incapable of learning. Reverend Kane worked alongside Frederick Douglass, Martin Delaney, and many others as an active abolitionist. He was also an entrepreneur and was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives two non-consecutive terms. After he left Congress in South Carolina politics, Reverend Kane served as the Bishop of the AME Conference in Washington, D.C., where he later died on January 18, 1887.